How did Gilbert Gottfried feel about the sudden passing of his close friend Bob Saget? And how did two comedians known for their raunchy, offensive jokes become so tied to family-friendly comedy? This is the story of Gilbert Gottfried's friendship with Bob Saget. In January 2022, comedian Gilbert Gottfried told E.T. about the moment he heard that his dear friend and colleague Bob Saget had died. The comedian relayed, I thought it was a sick joke. I'm holding the phone and then I'm still waiting for the punchline. And then that didn't come and now I feel like it's a day later, I'm still waiting. Saget, the comedian and actor who played one of TV's most beloved sitcom dads, was found dead in an Orlando, Florida hotel room on January 9th, 2022. According to Page Six, Gottfried was such good friends with Saget that the two spoke just days before Saget's death, and he saw no signs that his fellow comic would soon pass away. He heard nothing out of the ordinary from Saget. He was the same guy he had known for years. To Gottfried, their last chat was just their typical banter filled with crude jokes and nothing taken seriously. Most of the world got to know Bob Saget via his role as the warm-hearted widower Danny Tanner on the wildly popular sitcom Full House or the affable longtime host of America's Funniest Home Videos. So when Saget told his absolutely raunchy version of a classic comedian's joke for the documentary film The Aristocrats, some fans were appalled that such filth could flow from his mouth. But people like Gottfried, Norm Macdonald, and other comedians who knew Saget personally were well aware that his jokes often pushed the boundaries of propriety and even made some people uncomfortable. Gottfried told E.T. No one who knew him was the least bit surprised. Gottfried went on to say that for people who knew him, Full House was something they laugh at because it's like they say, no, he's not this wholesome guy. It was hard to explain because it was like very easygoing and yet outrageous stuff. According to Page Six, shortly after Saget's death, Gottfried appeared on the Hollywood Raw podcast and was asked what sort of send-off he thought his friend would have liked. Gottfried said, I think he would want it not too sensitive. I think he would have wanted stuff kept at a lighter level and maybe a little sick. Unfortunately, Gottfried's loved ones would soon be contending with his own tragic death. On April 12, 2022, it was announced via a message from Gottfried's family posted to his Twitter account that Gilbert Gottfried had died at the age of 67. The message read, in part, We are heartbroken to announce the passing of our beloved Gilbert Gottfried after a long illness. In addition to being the most iconic voice in comedy, Gilbert was a wonderful husband, brother, friend, and father to his two young children. Although today is a sad day for all of us, please keep laughing as loud as possible in Gilbert's honor. The legendary comedian's death shocked friends, fans, and acquaintances alike. Actor and Seinfeld star Jason Alexander tweeted his sympathies, saying, Gilbert Gottfried made me laugh at times when laughter did not come easily. What a gift. I did not know him well, but I loved what he shared with me. My best wishes and sympathies to his family. Just a few months before his own death, Godfrey tweeted a photo of himself with his late friends and comedians Bob Saget and Louis Anderson, both of whom died in January 2022. The photo was posted in reaction to Anderson's death, and the accompanying message read, This photo is very sad now. Rest in peace, Bob Saget, and rest in peace, Louis Anderson both good friends that will be missed. Saget, Gottfried, and Anderson were all in their 60s when they died, and their relatively young ages made their deaths come as a shock to all their fans. It seemed as though there had been a string of comedians dying around the same age, all within a year of each other. Another close friend of both Saget and Gottfried, comedian Norm Macdonald, died from cancer in 2021. Anderson also died from cancer. Our hearts go to the loved ones of all of these comedy legends.